so our empire has grown. Our borders look ridiculous, but that's okay. And uh, we won't bother reducing war exhaustion. We'll let that go away on its own. 7k manpower debt, roughly. We're still at 3 stability. Not too worried. Uh, we, we have very low unrest. And no missions available. Probably pay off the rest of our loans. And then I'm going to... Lost force migration against the Caddo. That's okay. We can finally start colonizing Cahokia. Actually, that's where our army should go. In terms of where we want our capital, Mississippi, I think, is a higher value trade node overall. I mean, depending on how it gets developed. Well, in this node is 1.42. Let's see, actually, actually, Ohio is a higher value trade node, so we might, yeah, we might move our capital to Cahokia. I mean, we are the new Cahokia, so it makes sense. We're not going to go to war again, I don't think, until, um, until we uh, get our manpower reserves back up. Families left behind. The recent war took a heavy toll on our people. Many were called, few returned. The families of not really nobles, but of powerful chiefs and commoners alike, toiled as they waited for soldiers to return home, but the war ended and they never did. Now the toiling continues, many being so preoccupied with the work to make up for the lost pair of hands that they barely have time to grieve. Of the ones who have time to think, many are increasingly thinking that we have just been throwing away lives too carelessly. Uh, this is the price that must be paid for our glorious nation. I don't think that unrest, a little bit of unrest is going to kill us. We're still at negative unrest, even with, with that. All right, migration cooldown. We don't really use migration, but now we've completed this set. So we're set to reform our government. We could start spending money on development or diplotech or whatever we want to do. The Shawnee start colonizing, or were they always? They always have two provinces. I thought I saw a map change there, but I could be imagining things. Iroquois. Um, no real desire to fight them right now, but we will mark them as a rival just to get the ticking power projection. Supply limit here is 21. Okay, so we can stage our army here pretty much indefinitely. Rival of our rivals, the Huron. Yeah, we'll make friends with the Huron. Force migration against the creek. Caddo aren't going to want to be our vassal, are they? No. Um, oh, the creek have started migrating because they only had one province. Shawnee and Caddo. Yeah, if we had a full army, that would, that would be an interesting war to try out, but not yet. Well, Caddo's in our federation, so they might not even join. Well, just out of curiosity. Now, Caddo... Yeah, Caddo would not join. Shawnee, the Lenape, and the Cree would join, though. I don't think I actually wanted Muskogee, now that I'm thinking about it. I wonder if I can sell this to the Cherokee or something. Yeah, that's outside. That's a little too close to the coast. And we're not going to be able to turn it into a state because in order to do that, we'd have to take all of Upper Georgia. And it's a little close to the colonizers for, for my sanity. But, huh. We'll see. I just saw that and I was like, oh yeah, that's outside the borders I wanted to set up for us. I don't know, maybe we can sell it to whatever colonial nation pops up here and that'll net us some cash and some goodwill. So we're now making money, um, even while colonizing, which is very good, actually. Um, I thought Native Council's got like a 
advisor cost reduction. I might be thinking of the Siberian clan councils. Uh, no reason we need to be bleeding military power, so let's fire our worst general. Yeah, he's worse. Colonial expansion! Uh, yeah, definitely we'll pay, pay to expand. In terms of priorities, once we have Cahokia, I think we want to take the rest of this state and then we'll kind of race to the coast and block off what we want. So we'll take these two provinces. Any other areas we need to complete? Tennessee. Yeah, it's more important to block off the coast, I think. We're going to have weird-ass borders, but it's okay. The western boundary of our empire, I'd like our empire to end at the Rockies. Um, we might... We might try to maintain a border at the Rio Grande. Just because it's a very good defensive location. I'd rather not fight the Navajo, because they, they tend to get pretty, pretty big. I mean, by the time we get out there, we'll be able to squash them, probably, but it's still it'd still be a costly war. Bribes are growing more accepted. All right, let's root out corruption on maximum cool. And we have a core. So we should have no overextension now. Yeah. Oh, we do have Creek Separatists that are getting quite troublesome down here. What provinces? Tuskegee and Muskogee. I honestly wouldn't mind if they took Muskogee. But we'll be ready. Gain force migration against the Caddo, and there they go. Force migration against the Fox. Start building buildings, but I kind of wait. Want to wait till we get our capital moved up to Cahokia. Start really investing in that because a lot of the native buildings go away. Um, Shawnee and Caddo. Okay, so they only have two allies now. The Caddo would join them, despite being allied to us and in a federation with us. Cherokee would not help. Because they have a truce with the creek. Oh, yeah, we also have a truce with the creek, so. <laughs> we'll wait on that. Our truce with the creek expires in 1497. Hey, Cherokee, if you want to colonize Kusa, we've got a province to sell you. In upper, beautiful upper Georgia. Which is a state that we don't really care to uh, administer. Trade expansion! Cool. I like it. Did it give us a CB against the Cheyenne? No, it did not. I think you have to wait until they can migrate to get the force migration CB. So you have to basically declare the war right as they're getting ready to migrate. Let's figure out what we want our northern boundary to be. Um, well, so the Ohio Trade Node. We want to control as much power as possible in the Ohio Trade Node. So ideally, we would loop around the Great Lakes. Defending the Ohio Valley is going to be tough, though. Maybe we should keep our capital in in Mississippi. The problem is Tamaroa gives us 15% extra development cost, whereas Cahokia is minus 5. Alright, cool. Tribal Constitution. By developing the roles and powers of the people who govern our nation, we can greatly enhance our ability to rule ourselves. We are ready to reform our government as soon as we have feudalism. We could force feudalism with development, actually. Um, 
that that is an option another option is to i think the mesoamericans start with feudalism so we could draw a snake we could draw a snake down here but uh yeah we'll see tell you what let's move our capital to kokia and let's start developing it and mississippi feeds into ohio doesn't oh okay Oh, Mississippi. Yeah, it does. Mississippi feeds into Ohio. Ohio does not feed into Mississippi. So I think it will make more sense to have our capital in Ohio. Which means we should probably take Michigan because Potawatomi is an inland center of trade. Maybe we should get that first. Maybe we should just lock down. Never have too much manpower. Maybe we should lock down the, uh, the mitten first. Oh, yeah, my grandfather lives in this province right here, Traverse City, Michigan. I have spent a lot of time in this area of the world. Gone camping in the Upper Peninsula, Mackinac Island. It's a great area. If you've never been there, I highly recommend it. Um, Tech-wise... Yeah, we're not going to be getting much tech for a long time because of the institution penalty. Manpower's starting to recover. Might as well start building up our army so nobody gets any funny ideas about declaring war on us. Not taking any attrition down here, right? Yeah, 21 in winter, that's that's plenty. I love the the fact that they've they've gone to the trouble of creating unique tier one unit models for so many of the, the North American tribes. Adds a lot of flavor to the game. That's just the default one, <laughs> but uh yeah, Chickasaw has a unique one. Uh, Creek has a unique one. Cherokee has a unique one. Sioux have a have a very cool looking one. That's generic, 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 generic. Now there's several that have because there's two different. Oh yeah, the Potawatomi have a unique model. Merchants are suffering. We will give them our support. We have to stand by our merchants. I think our rebellion danger has more or less evaporated. Yeah. National unrest is so low. Alliance partner dismissed. We broke our alliance with Caddo. And Caddo has left our federation. Well, that's unfortunate. Why are we still over our Diplo limit, though? Guaranteeing. Well, we're obviously not going to guarantee you anymore if you're going to be dicks about it. Um, matter of fact, we might just conquer you if we have a CB. Because you should be diplomatically isolated at this point. Um, let's send you an insult. Send an insult. Come at me, bro. Cad, bro. That was really bad. Why are we losing money? State maintenance, colonial maintenance, army maintenance. Uh, nothing we can. Oh, we can reduce inflation. That'll help. suppose our army has just grown large enough that we need to uh, establish some dominance down here. Out at the creek. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Can I send them an insult? Also, what is my diplomat doing? Allies have one on own subjects.
Nobles demand privileges. Uh, let the chief explain why they never had those rights to begin with. Can I change my rival? Oh, I can make them my rival. Does that give us a CB? Apparently it didn't give me a Humiliate Rival CB. So we might have to wait. Truce the Creek is up in three years. There we go. Force migration. Let's declare war. Let's call in the Cherokee. The Shawnee are going to join on the enemy side. That's all right. I think we can handle that. We're going to go down to speed three. Breaking truce with the Caddo? Why do we have a truce with the... Oh, because we broke an alliance with them. So actually, we'll have an opportunity to clear war on the creek first. Eh, we'll, we'll lower army maintenance a touch just so we don't go into debt. Uh, I want it exactly minus one. There we go. Breaking even. When this colony finishes, our, uh, our income should go up a fair bit. All right, cool. Caddo's no longer a valid rival because they migrated, I guess. What are they gonna do here? Oh yeah. Let's see if we have any other any other valid rivals. Doesn't look like it. Thank you for the free power projection. Oh dang it. They uh they moved away from the province I wanted to take. Hey, we can invest in Eastern Swarm. Do we want to do that, or do we want to spend all that on development? I think we want to spend it on development. And 043 is our new leader. <laughs> so we're going to put an admin focus on there to keep that balanced out. And he is just completely incompetent. Obsessive perfectionist who doesn't know how to administrate. Yeah, we're gonna, I think we're gonna try to force feudalism here. Let's have faith in our mastery of the flames. Fire successful, fantastic. Truce with the Sioux has ended. Colony in Cahokia, all right, let's move the capital. It's not a state yet. Are we at our maximum on states? Uh, number of states. States and provinces. Okay, we can't move our capital here, and we can't make it into a state, I don't believe. Okay, um, well, in that case, we will keep our capital down here, and we'll develop the shit out of this instead. So we're going to do, let's open up the feudalism thingy. And we are developing a feudal society right before your eyes. 81 admin power. 